In this MathCast, we're going to show how to use the GeoGebra predefined function x parentheses to separate out the x coordinate of a point. So let's start by drawing a couple of points. Click on the point tool, and here's A, and let this be B. And now we want to define numbers that tell me the x-coordinate of A and the x-coordinate of B. Predefined functions are direct input, so we need to go down to the input field and click. Now we have a cursor there, and we type A, little a, equal to x, no spacing, parenthesis, big A for the point that we already have defined, close parenthesis, and hit enter. And notice that this is 1.1, the x-coordinate of a is 1.1, and the value of little a is 1.1. If we move our point, a here, this value should change. Let's see, right? If we move it vertically, it doesn't change because it's only the x-coordinate. We need to move it horizontally or diagonally for the value to change, okay? Let's click down here in the input bar again. This time we're going to make a mistake. Little b, that's good, equals, and now we forget that we have to have a little x, so we'll write a big x of b. What happens when we hit enter? Ah, we get a geographer error. Invalid input, undefined variable, and this is the key, big x. So hit OK, come down here, and erase the big x, and put in a little x, and hit enter, and now we have 5 as in here. Now we can use these numbers to calculate with. So let's say the difference between these two numbers should be the horizontal distance between A and B. So let's use mathematical notation. We'll just say dx as the number that's the distance along x is equal to B minus A. What do we get? 3.8. So it says the difference in the x-coordinates is 3.a. Let's check that out using something else in GeoGebra. We'll draw a line through b perpendicular to the x-axis and a line through a perpendicular to the y-axis. And this 3.8 here it says that this distance between a and this intersection point right here should be 3.8. Well, let's make an intersection point there because GeoGebra doesn't understand things like that. So we go to the point tool, intersect, right between them so we don't have to choose twice. There we go. And now let's draw a line segment between A and C because the value of line segments is their length. That's an interesting thing in GeoGebra. So we'll take the segment between two points and draw A to C. Voila. That they are the same. 